congratulations on your win today. Um, what was the pressure like on the last couple of laps when you knew that the 90, sec 90 minute barrier was on the cards? Well, with about two laps to go, um, I was on for about 90 10 or so. And I just said, just come on, I'll just go and hopefully I'll break it. And then I was coming towards the line and I saw 53, so I said, you know, at least I've, I've got it now. It's a great thing to be able to break 90 minutes. You know? Go on! Go on! I was over here, but he estimated 45 or 1, so, you know, you know, 49 or 10. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway, you were 45.04, were you? Yeah. And did, so, you, did you think of that stage? Yeah, I, I always, in my mind, I always think, like, if I get through 10k, like, and if I've, in around, you know, up to about 10 seconds, like, you can always pull it back. So, like, I was on for 90 then, so it was, you but know, it, it was good. A to, psychological barrier to break 90 minutes, but it was a big improvement on, uh, on your previous best. Yeah, I mean, I was hoping to go close to 90, but I was aware of the fact that I mightn't just get it because I'd be on my own as well in the race. So, um, you know, it's a minute and over a minute and a half off my PB, which is And brilliant. over three minutes faster than you were walking this that's time right. last year yeah, when we thought right. you were going so well. Yeah, that's it. I know, um, yeah. Where's it going to stop? I mean, <laughs> are you, uh, do you think you can really get up there with the, the medalists in the, the major championships? Well, that's the plan anyway, you know, at the rate I'm going, hopefully I should. But uh, I'm just going to take every year as it comes and just train as hard as I can and hopefully keep injury free and improve as, as I go along. Where have you found those three minutes from last year? Is it this, is it working on the stamina or technique or a mixture um, of everything? I think everything. I I think first of all I'm training um, full time. I was working last year, so you know, not saying that it, it makes you know your actual training but better, but it's just that you're resting all the time and you're able to relax and you're you know you're just tuned into athletics uh, and you're training rather than like having a hundred different things to do. And I'm probably doing a bit more mileage than I was last year and maybe at a little bit faster rate pace, you know. So that's I think all combined to give me faster time. Did you did you find it beneficial today with the men's race overlapping because you got um, definitely yeah you because got involved with a yeah. little tussle with Don <laughs> Don Beam. I did yeah, but it was great. I think there was only a second between us in the end, so that was good. And um, because I also you know the the big barrier on 20k is from like about 12 to 15k, and that was when I, I was you know falling off it a little bit. And once I got back then on, on track again, I, I knew I could break the 90. So it was good to have somebody to go with. Yeah. What, what goes through your mind too with the, with the distance with 25 laps around here? I mean, it's still something, particularly the runners on the Isle of Man find it very hard uh, psychological to, um, to pace running laps. But uh, yeah, I think if, if like with 20k, no matter no matter where you're doing it, I think you just have to break it up, um, break it up to 10, and then you know two fives or whatever, or break it into like 4k's because I, I don't. 4k reps you know in training and if I just say well I do three in training so you know just another two you know just even just little psychological things like that you know I have them done also just another one and just kind of think about it like that and you get through it then. What's the longest distance that you do in training? Do you train over distance? For um, yeah the longest I do is about 18 miles but I'd only do that like maybe once a week and then I haven't done it now in the last maybe two or three weeks because I've had a few races up to this and I'd be easing down again. So after next week now, I'll probably get back doing a good solid month of March as well. I don't think of any races, so. That's well, good luck yeah. for the rest of the Thank season, you. and hopefully we'll see you back here yeah, again. Yeah, hopefully again. You'll be becoming a regular uh, visitor <laughs> yeah, annual visit. Yeah, indeed. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks.